It's Halloween, so what do we have to unbox? Magical cauldrons, of course. We've got the Magic Mixies Magic Cauldron with more than 50 sounds and reactions. Who will you magically create? Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today, we're kickstarting Halloween off with our really cool Magic Mixies Magical Cauldrons. I've got the pink one here and the blue one here. Story time. So how I came across these Magic Mixies was actually a YouTube ad. Mm, yeah, I'm guilty of those too. I saw these on a YouTube ad in August and I went looking for them, but they were on pre-order on Amazon. So I pre-ordered them and finally got them October 5th. And it's a good thing I did because this is a hot holiday toy and it's pretty much sold out everywhere now. And yeah, why are we unboxing it so late? Well, I had to have my super Halloween-y stories for you guys. And those take a little longer to film, so we had to wait, but we saved the best for last. We've got Magic Mixies on Halloween day. Each cauldron was $69.99. So first of all, let's do the pink one. Whoop. Sorry, Blue, out of the way. Let's twist it around and see what we've got here on the back. Who will you magically create? So here are the steps. We read the spell, add ingredients, tap the wand, say the magic words, see the mist, create your mixie, perform spells, and more. So it looks like we can already see what the little pink one looks like over here. Makes real mist. Now magic mixies are made by Moose Toys. It's been a while since I've seen Moose Toys come out with any new toys. You guys remember Moose Toys? Shopkins Shoppy Dolls that we loved so much and the little Shopkins. So I'm guessing we start off up top here. I didn't see any instructions inside of the box. Okay, take the little magical mist off. Ooh, and we've got a lot of goodies in here. Where? You guys can have a look-see too. Okay, so the instructions are right over here. Inside this pack here, it looks like we have the instructions manual. What else is in here? So there's two ways to play. You can have a real mist coming out of your cauldron, so that's create mode. But if you don't like the mist and you just don't want it there, you can do spell mode. Oh, so you're supposed to charge the magic cauldron before playing for the first time. Well, that is what this was for. Well then. So if you see right over here, we have it switched to create mist, or you can have spell, no mist. And here is where we are going to charge it. While we're waiting for our cauldron to charge, let's check out some of our items here. So here's our potion bottle, our reset key right over here, where we plug it into the side of the cauldron and reset for a second round of play. There's a tinier potion bottle and our magic wand. Then we've got our gem case with a whole bunch of our spell ingredients in there. So let's check these out. Here is our spell book. We're gonna have to read this to know what to put inside of our cauldron. Creation spell. So here's all the steps to creating the magic mixie spell. And here oh, are all of our magical ingredients. How cool is that? There's stuff in here that'll melt into the water and it'll make the cauldron come to life. And we've got numbers on there telling us which steps they are. With this magical spell, you will create a new friend who will strengthen your magic when they appear at the end. When making the spell, watch with both eyes. Take care not to miss the final surprise. Okay, so let's have you guys have front row seats to everything we put inside of our magic cauldron. And step number one says add water inside of this potion bottle and that'll be our first ingredient. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, do you hear it? Oh, look at it bubbling and boiling. I could hear it too. So cool. Now we're gonna listen for the tap, tap, tap sound. You guys hear that? Tap, tap, tap. So now we're gonna go tap, tap, tap. Okay, so we're ready to go to the next step. Now we're gonna mix in step number two. Okay, step number two. Oh, look at it bubbling up. How cool is that? Okay, we're gonna get all of this in here. Look at that. Pretty neat, huh? So we're gonna have to listen to that and there's our green glowing light. We watch out for that after every step. Neat. So. We're gonna give our mixie its voice by mixing this up in here. So exciting, so our little mixie's gonna get its voice. Okay, 
Now we're gonna add sparkle to our Mixie's eyes with step number three. Oh, look at that. Oh, our little star broke. Okay, it's asking me to tap, tap, tap again. Let me get the star in there. Okay, and now we're gonna grant our Mixie its wings with number four. Okay, so we've got a feather here. Let's just drop the feather in and swish it around a little bit. Wait for the green light and tap, tap, tap. There we go. Next up, we're gonna color our Mixie with step number five. Okay, it's like a little bath bomb. Let's get it in there. Ooh, is that gonna turn the water pink? Let's mix it around. Okay, let's look out for the green light. There you go, listen for the tap, tap, tap. And we're gonna add the creation crystal now, number six. Oh, I hear something. Oh, do you hear it? I'm scared. Oh, there goes the mist. Oh, and I can hear a little Mixie. The magic creation crystal, let's get that in there. Swish it around. So cool, look at the mist. It's like a real cauldron. Now we're gonna listen for the tapping three times because we can't see the green. How cute, listen to it. Oh my goodness, oh, it just popped out. Oh my God, it scared me. It's our little magic Mixie, it just popped out. I thought I had to do another step. Well, step number seven is naming our Mixie, but she just popped out. Did I wait too long? Here we go, naming our Mixie, boop. And we were supposed to say Magicus Miximus. Oh, Mixie, I think I waited too long. I was mystified by the mist. So we're gonna name our little magic Mixie Gizmo. Gizmo, she's so cute. So we're supposed to spin her around here and we can take her out. Oh, this is, oh. Okay, a little Gizmo, okay. Gonna get you out. Finally, we got her out. Here's little Gizmo, she's so plushy. Oh, look at her, she's trying to communicate with us. This little gem up here tells us everything, her mood, if she needs to eat, if she needs to sleep, if she's tired, the color on the gem will tell you. So when this gem flashes red, it means our little Mixie is weak. And when it flashes blue, it means her mood is medium. When the gem color is gold, which she's flashing right now, her mood is strong. So she's pretty high energy right now coming out of the cauldron. She has a little wings in the back. Oh no, she's yawning. Don't go to sleep just yet. Still flashing gold, we're good. She has a little tail in the back also. Actually, it's a big tail. And you can move the tail around. You can even sit her on the cauldron by wrapping her tail around the handle. Here you go. Now little Gizmo can hang out on here. And we're not done with the magic wand just yet. The magic wand actually helps us give her commands. So for Mixie enchantment mode, we tap the wand on the Mixie's gem while it's in enchantment mode and you might get a surprise. You can also bring your magic Mixie out of this mode by petting it. So this way our little magic Mixie will help us cast spells in the cauldron. Here we go. There it is. Oh, okay. If you want your magic Mixie in nurturing mode, you can pet it right above the gem. This helps it build up its energy. And of course, she makes cheerful noises. How cute. The more you pet, the stronger and happier your Mixie will be. Now sleeping, if you leave your Magic Mixie alone, it will regain its energy. If you continue to leave it alone, your Magic Mixie will become tired and fall asleep completely. But we don't want her falling asleep now. She has high energy. So magic, you say? Magic Mixie has three different magical responses to the wand. Each is triggered when you place the tip of the wand against the top of the gem. One quick tap that we just did is the Mixie spell mode and the gem will turn purple, which it just did. Two quick taps will get you Magic Mixie wish mode and the gem will turn green. We can hold the wand to the gem for a few seconds for Mixie enchantment mode, then the gem will strobe rainbow. Okay, so she wasn't even in enchantment mode when I did the first tap. Let's try the one tap. So there was the purple, kind of looks hot pink. Here we go with two quick taps. Oh, okay, so we get to wish. The higher her energy is, the most likely she will grant us our wish. All right, so our wish was granted. It lighted up green because she has enough energy. 
Even though I didn't make one, she didn't give me enough time. If the gem lights up red, your wish has been denied. And usually that happens when she's low energy. <laughs> Was that a fart and a laugh? Gizmo! I wish for an LOL Halloween ball. Oh, well, what do you know? She granted my wish! Hold one to gem for a few seconds. Mix the enchantment mode will strobe rainbow. There it goes. <laughs> she was in enchantment mode. <laughs> what did she just say? Shama la dinga la mom? I'll be your translator. Let's try at this point. Tap it one time to get a surprise. Oh, we got a horse mate? Let's try again. Oh, a chicken. Thanks for the song, Gizmo, but I was expecting an L-O-L-O-M-G house or something. Another horse neighing. Another song. Well, let's try the next magic mixie, our little blue cauldron. Who are we gonna get in here? Move over, Gizmo, we're gonna get you a buddy. Okay, so this time around, I'm gonna try not to be mystified by the mist because we're supposed to write our Mixie's name on the scroll and then toss it in there when the light flashes orange. Now, with our blue cauldron, we get a blue gem case. Let's open this up, get our ingredients out and our blue spell book. Is there anything different? Let's have a look-see. No, we still got the feather and the star. The number two, number seven, the naming scroll. Let's watch out for that. Oh, and this is different. So number five is different and the gem is different for number six. Then we've also got our blue wand to match our blue gem and a blue reset key. Anytime you want to reuse and redo a spell on your magic mixie, you can. All you have to do is put this magic reset key on the side right over here. And there's also an option to remix the mist solution and they have instructions for that too. So this is the little bottle for the mist refill vial and here are the instructions. It is actually right here on number 15 of this huge instructions pamphlet. And actually your potion bottle has a blue gem on it. So those are the difference between the blue and the pink. And of course our mixie is gonna be completely different. All right, you guys are ready? I thought this gem would actually do something when I was looking at the pictures before ordering, but I guess not, it's just meant to be pretty. And we'll start off with our potion bottle. Let's dunk it in. There we go, we can hear our cauldron come to life. Okay, we don't wanna go past that line. And now we're gonna color our mixie. So it's gonna be a blue mixie, and we should have a blue little tablet. There we go. Next up is number six, where we add our crystal. Let's get it on in there, mix that up. So now we have to listen to the tap, tap, tap sound, and then look out for the orange light and the paper rustling sound. That'll let us know when to put in number seven. There you go. Ooh. Oh, I guess we put the name in right now. I'm gonna name it Mortimer. So that's number seven. Let's mix it up. Now we should get the mist once we tap, tap, tap. Here we go. So exciting. All right, Mortimer. Can't wait to meet you. There goes our mist. Oh, I can hear him. Ooh, and the mist smells good too. Kind of smells like those Halloween foggers. So pretty. Okay, Mortimer's gonna pop out any minute. Ooh, oh, they still scare me. Mortimer jump scared me. Come on, Mortimer, let's have a good look at you. Oh, Mortimer's purple and blue. All right, little Morty. He's got a different shaped gem. Oh, and glittery purple eyes. Oh, Mortimer. They all like to fart and laugh. I like the spots on Morty. So cute. Oh, look at the wings. So pretty. Poor Mortimer. Look at his legs. Let's get his legs right. 
and his little tail. So I'm choosing to have my pink be a girl and my blue be a boy. So I have one of each, but you guys can choose whatever. And little Morty here has the same commands as Gizmo. So the pink and the blue, they're pretty much the same except for the outward appearance and some of the spell ingredients that come with them. So that was fun. A really fun little magic spell Halloween treat on the last day of spooky month. Hope you guys have a fun and very safe Halloween. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye for now.